Dylan is in good shape, but early this morning when he was playing soccer in the yard with his kids, he bent over to pick up the ball and felt jolts of white-hot pain shoot through his body. Ah, my back! The first thing he thinks is, why did this happen? Did I break something? Did I herniate a disc? Do I have cancer? Why does it hurt so much? If this sounds familiar, what you're feeling happens to approximately 80% of adults during their lives. Something as simple as bending over to put on socks in the morning can trigger shocking low back pain. So what you are feeling is, well, actually a fairly normal occurrence not caused by broken bones, slipped discs, or chronic diseases like cancer. However, the pain can be scary. The only thing on Dylan's mind is fixing it, and fast. So he does a few Google searches and his anxiety grows. He calls his doctor and says, Seriously, I feel terrible. I think I need x-rays, an MRI, and strong medication now. But the truth is, more often than not, none of these are needed right away. If, however, you have significant leg weakness or loss of sensation, loss of feeling in your genitals or rectal region, no control of urine or stool, a history of metastatic cancer, or fever and lower back pain, or a fall or injury that caused the pain, then see a medical provider immediately to evaluate your symptoms and determine if urgent imaging is required. If none of the above symptoms or conditions are present, then limitation of strenuous activities for two to three days often improves symptoms. However, if you are not feeling better in that time, then schedule an appointment with your primary care provider. He or she may consider physical therapy, medications, and counseling. If symptoms persist for longer than two weeks, often diagnostic imaging such as x-rays, CT, and or MRI are considered, as well as a referral to a specialist such as a neurosurgeon or orthopedic surgeon. The good news is approximately 9 out of 10 people will get better with just anti-inflammatories such as ibuprofen, walking, mild stretching, and, well, time. Sometimes it takes up to six weeks of time. To Dylan, six weeks sounds like an eternity. But for the vast majority of people, low back injuries need time to heal. Even if you have pain and tingling into your legs, the majority of those symptoms can often improve in a few weeks. For more information, visit the links below.